Hi guys and welcome back to making games with Unity. Today I'm going to show you some tips. Right now on Google Play Store when you upload a new APK or app bundle, they will require you to at least select a target API of level 29. But the problem right now is even the 2019.4.5 LTS, they don't have this one. So right now when you try to change the API level to 29, 29 please all right so when you try to update your api level to 29 and try to build your android version you will have some error you will have this android sdk is missing required platform api so yeah it's, it's looking for api level 29 and when you click or click this update android sdk you will have this problem so it requires you to update manually or to have an SDK manager available to your machine. So usually what I do to, to fix this thing is just install Android Studio on your machine and then Android Studio have the Android SDK. I mean the SDK manager. You can click it and then from here you can update until the until to the latest version of Android api label so you see here we got 9 we got 10 we even have the preview version so yeah we, you can update using this and then just check it for example this one this is how to update check then hit apply and then okay it will download the latest version of android sdk you just need to wait for this download and then after this download is complete you can link your uh, SDK inside your unity project. So I'm going to come back To our project. I'm going to go to the edit settings there then preference then from here I can go to the Under the SDK tools installed in the external tools here. I can just uncheck this one and Then from here I can browse Exact location of my Android SDK from Android studio and that's it so i hope this fix will solve your problem guys so now i link this one right and then i'm going to clear this one and i'm going to try to build so let's see if the error or issue persists so right now it's still building and yeah there's no error yet let's see it looks like everything is okay i'm going to fast forward this video because yeah this is a first build so it will take more time all right so it builds successfully see this message application installed to the device build complete with a result of succeeded yes so that's how you fix that issue so i hope this video will help you guys to yeah build your android apk or app bundle so if you want to know about other c -sharp basics and unity basics we got other videos you can check them all and again thank you for watching and see you on our next video goodbye guys